welcome back to week seven. It's time to get the slabs we rolled out last week in class and get making. This assignment was to make something designed featuring geometric shapes and architecturally inspired. Uh, but looking back, I think I forgot that bit because I just ended up making a pretty ordinary square shaped vase. Uh, we had a maximum height of 16 centimeters, so I had drawn up a very basic vessel design during the week so I could use it as a template when cutting the slab. We had the option to cut the edges at like a 45 degree angle to make a proper square finish. Um, but since this is my first time working with the slab clay, I chose to just attach each of them at 90 degrees, which changed the shape of the vase, but I actually think it was for the better. Also my organic pitch pots and coil pots from the first weeks have dried so it's off to a bisque firing. Last week in printmaking I showed you the first alga print uh, but I went on to do some additional versions with various um, different types of ink rubbings and adding some colour. I also made another plate of the same moth that I used for my lino cut just to be able to compare the difference. So I tested that as well and created several different versions, which came out really well. This week we got to try frottage, which is the French word for rubbing, basically. Uh, so we just went around the campus and took charcoal rubbings on various surfaces around the school grounds um, and it was quite interesting to look at surfaces around you in everyday life in a different way and so it made for a fun little piece in the end. In my lunch break, I headed down to South Bank just to chill out a bit between classes. So that was very relaxing. Drawing this week was Buster Machop. The assignment was to depict motion and I really struggled with this one. My subject was a static heater which didn't help so I gave up on that one and tried a second time to show the motion of water droplets coming out of a spray bottle which was better but it didn't quite capture the movement and our teacher was trying to make us blur the drawing to enhance the movement so I tried a third time with my favourite subject, moths. This version was definitely more successful and actually I met the assignment outcome so we got there in the end.
task for this week was painting, which was painting a still life in a grey palette. This was a really good exercise for me as normally I would have tried to be really neat and precise but I only had really well worn crappy school paint brushes uh, so I tried to be much more carefree in my painting style and I'm actually really happy with the outcome so yay me!